So we have a really awesome new knife case from Caval Knives, and this has got to be the most affordable, best quality case I've ever seen. Usually these are much, much more expensive. You just push in the tabs here. Oh yeah, before we get into this, I also have a little Caval slip. This it does have a clip on there, so you can carry, you know, your Jack Wolves or, or whatever uh, slip joint you want. This is the brand new little Bro Jack, and you can get this version still. Um, they did sell out on Blade HQ for this version, but I do believe I have links to other ones if you want to check it out down in the description. But as you can see, this slip is not a super tall one, so you know it's not going to fit the the biggest of slip joints. Um, I can still fit this one pretty good, but it makes it to where they're still sitting at the top of your pocket, just like a pocket knife. Really cool. And, and it seems like it's pretty well done. The stitching's really nice. The leather's good. Um, you know, it's uh, the clip is just a wire clip, but it, you know, it's got some good tech, good tightness to it. Anyways, the damn case. So, like I said, you push these tabs in, pop it open, and then the magic happens. So, I just tossed these in here, guys. We'll go through every single knife in this case quickly, but I literally just tossed them in there for the video. So, we have a very dense top layer. So there's actually two different layers here, or two different, two different materials. So we have like a rubber material on the top, on top of foam. So on the inside, it actually has foam. And then the top is like a rubber, which is really cool. So it keeps it nice and dense and firm on top while the insides are nice and, and mushy and cushiony. So like I said, man, the quality of this is just phenomenal. Um, it feels, you know, nice and tough. It feels like, you know, you, you could just carry it, you know, forever. Um, you know, the, the tabs are really solid. It does have a thing here, you know, to, to vacuum seal it. Um, I believe that's what that's for. Now, let's check out what's inside. So we have the Wii Knives Evoke, because then, you know, you can kind of get an idea of what size knives will fit in here. We'll go through small and large. So this is the Wii Knives Evoke. It is a Ray Laconico design. I recently sharpened up the edge to a screamer. Uh, awesome knife, nice simple, um, nice simple premium knife. Then we have the Spartan Harsey. Love the Spartan Harsey folder. Mine has a BGM hollow regrind, but yeah, what a cool knife. 100%, 100% USA made. It does have, um, Next, we have the Spartan Harsey Folder. I freaking love this knife, 100% USA made, nice deep hollow grind from BGM Knives. Mine did have a regrind done. Then we have the Medford Slim Midi, also with a hollow grind, 100% USA made. Probably my favorite Medford yet. Um, this is another Medford. I think it's the Swift, if I remember correctly. I think it's the Swift. Anyways, phenomenal knife, awesome knife. Um, it does have also a glass breaker right here. And again, 100% USA made. Now here you go, now here's a smaller knife. So give you an idea of a smaller knife. I can still easily get to it because right here, I can peel these things to the side if I need to. Like I can go sideways like that and smush down there because of the way how it has two layers. So the Protec PT. So this is a Strider collaboration with Protec, very snappy. Kicks like a horse, great automatic knife, great size too. You know, it's compact, but still a very capable compact knife. And as you can see, it fits fairly well. Now this is the Spider Coat Manix 2 XL. So I put this one in here, um, well one, because it's such an awesome, badass knife, one of my most recommended knives, period. But the, the width. It is about the width of this. So a Sp Spyderco Manix XL is about the width of each pocket. So it, it fits just fine. And we have a bigger knife coming up. So <clears throat> next we have the MSI. These are available right now. I will link them down in the description for 175 bucks, 107, yeah, 175, $177, something like that. The all black or the black handle ones, I think they might be FRN or polymer. I'm not, I'm not 100% sure, but either way. No, I think they're sheet 10. I, I don't know. Maybe, no, they're the lightweights. Sorry. Anyways, these are available right now. I will link them down in the description for like $175 or something like that. Mine is broken in really, really nicely. Um, you know, it only gets better and better the longer you have it. And you know, it, it is such a solid knife. The, the, you know, 
Microtech does a really good job. You know, undeniable. They have phenomenal build quality. Um, you know, so they make super tough knives and they're 100% USA made. At least this one is. Um, Freaking love it. Also, the Pro Tech Mordax, another knife that's available right now. Get it while you can. I cannot believe it's still in stock. It's insane. It's the S45VN version, which is a phenomenal steel, aluminum handles. Um, yeah, man, I can't. I, I could scream about this thing for days. It is an amazing, amazing knife, but the knife's about the case, or the, the video is about the case, not the knives. Um, Hogue Deca. The Hogue Deca is, you know, an awesome lightweight knife. Everybody knows the Hogue Deca. Then we have the Spyderco Slish Bowie. No, you can't get one because they are not. Um, they're not available and hopefully they'll, they'll come back of again. They made it seem like they were going to make them again because they did make some new ones like yeah, the year before last or something, but then they just didn't. So anyways, awesome, awesome knife. Freaking love it. Mine's the original CTS XHP, the best CTS XHP I've ever tried. This is the entity. I think, yeah, the entity, the concept entity. Phenomenal flipping action, very robust, somewhat of a tactical knife, but it also has like an elegance to it that's really nice. Everything softened really nicely. Um, you know, it just, it feels like an elegant tactical knife, which I freaking dig. Next, we have, oh, we have the Migoron, not Karaki, Curix, the Migoron Curix. This one has the, the micro milled, titanium handles, M390 steel, um, titanium clip and backspacer, phenomenal reverse flicking and phenomenal front flipping action. They do a really good job with their front flipping actions. A lot of Migorons do a really good job with their front flipping actions. I felt a couple uh, lemons, but for the most part, most of them have been uh, phenomenal. This is kind of like, like a larger version of the Whipper Snapper from Olamic. Next, the Jutland, the Ace, the Giant Mouse Ace Jutland. This one's the LMAX version. Um, they do have another version with burlap micarta. Um, and uh, what steel is it? Oh, dang it, I can't remember what steel it is. I'll put it on the bottom of the screen. Um, anyways, this one is my favorite um, trailing point blade. So um, I'm usually not a huge fan of trailing points for EDC. But this is a banger. This one does a really good job at basic EDC tasks and then everything else that a, a trailing point is actually good for. So the reason why I'm not a huge fan of trailing points in most cases for EDC is because they're not usually the best for utility cuts and things like that that I like to do. Um, QSB Penguin. This is the full titanium frame lock version and the large version. So we have multiple deployments on this one, full titanium frame lock, 20 CV steel. They have so many different versions of this. They have minis, they got the regular size, they got the large ones, they got titanium ones, they got budget ones, they got every kind you can imagine. It's insane how many penguins there are. Next, we have the Rain, the Kirby Lambert Rain. I freaking love this thing. Now, this is, in my opinion, a fantastic example of a hard use tactical knife while being done in a premium way. It has a gorgeous hollow ground clip point blade um, that has almost like a mirrored stone wash. Everything softened on it really nicely. Very comfortable. Flipper tabs, nice and comfortable. Great breaking detent. And, you know, it, it's solid, it's big, it's beefy. Look at that tip. You'll never break that tip. Uh, yeah, like I said, this thing is, is a tactical-ish knife. Um, very tough, very solidly built. And it comes in lots of different versions. This is a budget knife, um, which these are on sale right now uh, because CGRB has a 30% discount going on right now. This one has a beautiful, beautiful mirror polished edge on it, done by yours truly. Um, this is a... RPM9 steel. This is the CJRB Scoria. And the CJRB Scoria, in my opinion, is it's a it's kind of like a budget hinderer in a way. It's like a budget hinderer. And, and I freaking love it, man. Because you know, it's not a hinder or clone or anything like that. It's not trying to be anything like that. But it's just it has that same essence or the same shape, I should say. But it's done very well for a budget knife. It is a liner lock, flipping action, and thumb stud action. It has a titanium pivot collar, titanium thumb studs, and a titanium milled pocket clip. 
great knife and great deal right now. Now here's a beast. So now here's um, a good idea of the size of knives you can put in here. This is the PMP Kodiak. And the PMP Kodiak is an M390 steel with this titanium frag that's like, it's almost like a grenade or something. It's so big, so beastly, uh, very hand filling. This is a beast of a knife, but if you look, it will actually, we'll put it in this way. It'll fit in there really, really well. Now you can see there's still some sticking up, but I can easily close the case and it's barely touching the top. So I actually could go even taller than this. So, but this fits just fine. Um, you know, obviously there's gonna be a limit to anything you get. Uh, this is the Chris Reeves Sabenza. Oh man, I, I gotta keep this one out. Dang it, I didn't realize that. Damn, I messed this thing all up. Holy cow, look at that. I gotta uh, clean that up. Forgive me guys, forgive me. We have a beautiful titanium thumb stud that, bleh. <laughs> we have a beautiful titanium thumb stud that I did replace on there because I do not like the original ones. But yeah, the Sabenza, man, everybody knows the Sabenza. What a classic USA made knife. Then we have the Microtech SOCOM Elite. You know, and speaking of Microtech, you know, this is my favorite, probably my favorite tactical knife of all time. Um, it's just, it is done so well. Now, you know, I love that they did another manual knife, which is the MSI, uh, but you know, the SOCOM Elite is just a, it's not only incredibly smooth on ceramic bearings, but it has this robustness that most liner locks don't have. It's practically a frame lock, even though it is a sub liner lock, but the liner, you can see it's so thick and robust, <clears throat> great lockup, huge thumb studs that are also the stop pin. We do have a Tonto, but there also is a clip point version or is it a drop point? Whatever, they have other versions, but anyways, a uh, glass breaker on the back, you know, you, when you grip it in your hand, you can just, you can feel like you can just jam it into something. Um, this thing stays solid. It's always centered. It's always, it's always ready to go. Next, the Shuro Goroff F95 Frag Monkey Edge. Ooh, ooh, yeah. This thing's amazing. You can see the Monkey Edge Frag right there. Great flipping action. It has a hydro, a real hydraulic action, not like hydraulic, like people say the Sabenza, but hydraulic in the sense that it just slowly goes down at the same pace. Like it doesn't just slam shut. It's like it glides down, you know, almost like a, a, a door that's on, um, you know, that's air powered or on hydraulics. Woo. Anyways, beautiful knife. Freaking dig that thing. Next. The Launch 15, the Kershaw Launch 15, magnet cut steel, aluminum handle. Um, great way to get a, a, a USA made knife in magnet cut steel and other good materials, you know, cause it's got aluminum, it's got the, uh, the micarta. So it's a great way to get a USA made knife for not an arm and a leg, you know. <clears throat> and a good quality USA made knife for not an arm and a leg because you can get a lot of USA made knives very cheaply, but they're also crap. This is the Tucson TS223, uh, I think. How did I forget this? This is like my favorite Tucson ever. I think it's the 223. Anyways, this is a Jelly Jerry, Jelly Jerry design and it has 14C28N. I also have an M390 version, beautiful satin finish. It is a titanium bolster lock and they have a beautifully well done carbon fiber and the titanium's done really well with this micro milling texture. Beautiful sharpen tool and plunge grind. Phenomenal ergonomics. This little spot right there really nestles in your hand. This is a great knife and a great example of what you can get for, you know, around 130 bucks, 100, you know, give or take right around there because it does, you know, it has that very premium feel to it. Internal stop pins, which, you know, always help with, uh, you know, pivot stability and everything. Next, oh, and these are available right now. I don't know how many there is and, you know, if they'll be available when you're watching, but while I'm posting this, it is available. So definitely check out the link down in the description and see if it's still there. So we have a MagnaCut American Blade Works Model 2. 
titanium handles. This is a USA made knife and it's a USA made knife in titanium and magnet cut for like 300 something dollars. So this is not a crazy priced knife and it's done by one guy, you know, uh, great heat treatment. The, the magnet cuts heat treated 63 to 64, um, if not 64 to 65. Fin listen to that sound. Not sure if it'll come over the mic, but it's beautiful. This is a great USA made knife. And you know, I, I, I can't, yeah, I could scream about this thing forever. Um, Next, one more budget knife, we have the Velona, the Migron Velona. Now there's a few different versions of this. This is the, the budget large version, but what a great version. Like this is a phenomenal budget knife. Great budget knife for like, you know, somebody who wants a fidget knife, but also a very capable knife, a big knife. You know, it's, 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 it's a good cutter. You know, it's very ergonomic, great access to the lock bar. This one's the older version. The new one has a better sharpening tool and plunge grind. So don't pay attention to that. I do have the new one. Like I said, I just tossed these in here. 14C 28M blade steel, and it does have a titanium mill pocket clip. But yeah, what a badass knife, especially for like 50 bucks, man. Anyways, so the case, man, yeah, the case holds a lot of knives. What is it? Three, three times eight, so uh, 24 knives. And, you know, like I said, man, they fit really well. The whole thing just feels so, so solid. I'm absolutely loving it. Like I said, I will link it down in the description for you guys if you guys want to pick yourselves up one of these cases or maybe one of these slips because that will be down there as well. Work hard, stay tough. Until next time, peace.